Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another makeup tutorial. A lot of you requested that I do a second video and this time I decided to do a more neutral type of makeup. Something that you can wear every day, something that looks good on everybody. Last time I did a fun summer vibe look. I'll go ahead and link that video down in the description box below for you guys. But today I decided to keep it neutral. I am going to add some false lashes. So if you don't do false lashes, you can skip that part, but I'm going to add some false lashes as well, but we're going to do a more browns, golds, that type of a neutral makeup look. So I'm going to take you through this look step by step. I'm going to show you the products that I'm using, and I will of course link all of them down in the description box below so that you can order them if you like this look. So if you want to see a more neutral, beautiful, everyday, for everyone look, then all you have to do is stay tuned. do when I start any makeup routine is I'm going to start with a primer. I've been loving the Wet n Wild. This is the cucumber scented three in one primer. I prefer the coconut scent, but the idea behind this is to prime your face for your makeup. So typically I'll give it a good shake and just spray my face. And that way I am ready to start adding my makeup. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add elf's illuminating face primer and i did show you guys this in my last makeup tutorial i love this primer it makes your face silky smooth it adds that little bit of natural glow it is awesome so i'm just going to squirt just a little bit here in my hand and then i just take my finger and i'm just going to apply it all over my face and that's just going to add that nice base for my makeup and it literally is illuminating. It gives your face that really nice glow. Once you've added your primer to your face, your illuminating primer, we're ready for some foundation. So I've been loving for a drugstore brand, the Maybelline 24 hour. This is the warm nude. This is from my local drugstore. It is an absolutely fantastic foundation. In my opinion, it's better than a lot of those really expensive foundations. I've been using it for a while now and I'm actually really liking it. So I just have dampened my beauty blender and then I'm just going to, again, add a couple of squirts to my hand and I'm ready to apply my foundation. foundation is applied. It gives a nice full coverage, but your face doesn't look cakey and it is so inexpensive. I think it's about $10. And honestly, I have a hard time spending a lot of money on foundation when I can get something like the Maybelline 24 hour. And I feel like it really has the coverage that I'm looking for. So next up is concealer and I have the Mary Kay beige one. So this is the concealer that I've been using see if I can show you guys. So this is just from Mary Kay and the color is beige one. So typically what I'll do to apply my concealer is I'll put two little marks just kind of under my eye. And then again, I'm just going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend in my concealer. Once you've applied your concealer, it is time for foundation. So I have been loving my CoverGirl, and this is the medium translucent clean professional loose powder. I am a loose powder girl. I know that it makes a little bit more of a mess than a compact powder, but I like the coverage that I get. I feel like it's a little bit easier to apply. I'm using less product with a loose foundation or loose uh, powder than you are with say a compact powder. So I definitely prefer the loose powder and I'm going to apply it here with my angled it cosmetics brush. So I'm just going to apply the powder all over my face to finish out the foundation. Once I have my powder on, I am moving on 
to my eyes. So we are gonna use this Revolution Eye Color Palette. This came from one of my awesome subscribers. She sent me a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes and of course I was in heaven. But this is the Revolution and this is the Naked Chocolate Palette. I know that you can buy these or you could buy these on Ulta's website but I'll see if I can find this particular palette for you guys and link it down below. But this palette is all neutral colors. So they're your browns, your neutrals, they are shimmery. I prefer shimmery eyeshadows over the matte eyeshadow. So of course I prefer the shimmery palettes. So what we're gonna do is we are going to be using three of the colors in this palette. This first one down here, in the corner is called double dip and then we're also going to be using divine and frosted chocolate so those are the three browns that i'm going to be using so i'm going to start with my lid and we're going to start down here with double dip for my lid so when i apply my eyeshadow i like to use a somewhat small brush for it and that way i can really get in on my lid so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my color here and I'm just going to apply it to my lid. I'm just going to tap it on. And I like my shadow pretty bright and bold. So I'm gonna do a couple of coats of the neutral brown. It's such a pretty color. And again, this look is very neutral. It is definitely an everyday wear look. So there we have it. This again is the double dip. And then we're gonna move in to our other shade of brown here, this little bit darker one. That one is actually called Divine. And we're gonna apply that with this type of a brush. That brush will really get into the crease of your eye. So I'm gonna first take that little darker shade and I'm just going to apply it in to the crease of my eye. And I'll do both eyes until I have the desired color. you've applied that shade to your crease we are going to move on to our darker brown here and I'm going to apply that on the corner of my eye and I'm also going to pull it up towards my crease so I'm going to pull it up a little ways as well and that's just really going to add that pop of dark in the corner of my eye if you can see that and then I'm also going to just pull that over just a little bit onto the crease of my eye. And then I'm gonna repeat that in the next eye. And the last thing that I'm gonna do is take that same dark brown and I'm gonna run it under my eye. And you can see I have quite a bit of fallout. This particular palette, these, these revolutions, they have some fallout as well. So I typically will just take that same angled brush that I use for my powder and just kind of wipe off any of the, the fallout of the eyeshadow. And then we're ready to do our highlighter. So for my highlighter, I've been using the ColourPop and this is the color of Lunch Money. It is the perfect color for your lid. So I'm using kind of a type of flare brush. It's actually a MAC brush. And I'm just gonna go in here to my highlighter and I'm just gonna pull it across the top of my lid. And then I'm also gonna pull just a little bit right above my brow. And that will finish off our eyeshadow quick and easy, you guys. Once you get the hang of applying eyeshadow, you literally can have a look in a matter of minutes. It is so easy. It takes about five minutes once you kind of get the hang of it. And of course, choosing your color is also somewhat difficult. So now that we've got our eyeshadow on, I'll give you guys a peek. We are ready for some liner. So let me kind of brush away the fallout. I always do that once I am completely done. And now we're ready to do some liner. So for liner, because I'm gonna be doing some artificial lashes, I'm just gonna use just a pencil liner. This one is e.l.f., very basic liner. And I'm going to do my lids. And then I'm gonna be using a liquid liner to pull a wing on the end so that my eyelashes 
are a little bit more stand out they stand out a little bit more because of the wing and it also brings makes your eye a little bit larger by adding that wing onto the side but first let's start with the pencil and just do our lid once you have your pencil liner on we're going to move on to our liquid liner and this is the revlon color stay liquid pen and this is in the color blackest black and i like this for the wing the tip of it as you can see is a little different it's kind of jagged so i'm going to take it and pull out my wing there you have it so for me i like my my pull out my wing a lot thicker i think it looks better with artificial lashes and it just is a little bit better for my particular eye shape but you do your wing however works for you for your look but now we're going to move into putting on some artificial lashes this scares a lot of people and i get it i was scared as well I'm like am i going to screw these up i'm going to glue my eyes closed i didn't know exactly what was going to happen with artificial lashes but then once i've practice just a little bit it became so easy and it really truly is second nature now so i'm going to show you a quick and simple way to put on some artificial lashes the ones that i'm going to be using today are a little bit more dramatic just kind of feeling a little dramatic lash since i have a more neutral eye shadow palette today so let's put on some artificial lashes so for your lashes of course you're going to need lashes so i'm going to go with these these are very much a dramatic full long lash they're in this little container because i've used them once before that is a tip if you're really careful about removing your lashes not pulling on them not overdoing the glue you can actually reuse your lashes two or three different times so in order to reuse them i keep them in this little container that way i know that they've been used so here is my lash of course you're going to need some glue so i'm just using the duo it's the best eyelash glue on the market this one is black so when it dries it's black Black, like your liner I prefer the black but they also have a clear glue as well so you're going to take your lash and right along the lash line not crazily just very lightly you're just gonna put a nice thin layer of your eyelash glue right along the rim of your lashes and then you want to let this dry for at least 20 seconds so i usually will fan it around i want it to kind of get a little bit dry before i apply it to my to my eyes so fan it around once your lashes have been drying for about 20 seconds or so we're going to apply them so the tip is you want to apply your artificial lashes right at your natural lash line not on your lashes you don't want to glue it to your lashes but right on your lash line <laughs> There you have it. I just use my fingers and then I go in with a eyelash tool and I'm going to press it down so it's nice and adhered. All right, so there you have it. Once I get my eyelashes applied, you can either apply mascara before or after. I usually will, I'll kind of go back and forth, but today I'm going to do it after. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Love it. And I'm just going to gently just apply some to my natural lashes. You don't want to apply it to your artificial lashes. So just try to stick with your natural. And then of course your lower lashes, if you put mascara on your lower lashes. So there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and apply my other eye of lashes. All right. So there are my lashes. Now I want to show you guys, if you don't want this dramatic of a lash, the other lashes that I love are these. These are the Ardell and these are the Demi Wispies. And these are a much more natural lash. They're not as long, they're not as full. These are awesome. So I'm gonna link the ones I have on and I'm also going to link the Demi Wispies down in the description box. That way if you want a less dramatic lash, you can go with the Demi Wispies. So now I'm just gonna apply one more quick coat of mascara to my bottom lashes and then we are gonna move on to our eyebrows. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a close up here of the shadow and the lashes. So again, if you don't want your lashes so long and so huge, uh, you can always go to the Demi Wispies from Ardell. They're wonderful. So let's move on to our 
eyebrows. So I've been using the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. And again, from your local drugstore, it is the best eyebrow gel. I do not draw on my eyebrows because mine are longer than you would even imagine. They're like little caterpillars. So I don't draw them on. I prefer a brow mascara. And that's what this is. This, of course, is in dark brown. So I'm just going to use it like I would a mascara. I'm going to brush up my brows and then I'm going to smooth them to the shape. And this holds them and keeps them in place so I don't have crazy brows. that I want to do in for my eyes is I'm going to apply a little bit of highlighter to the inside corner and I love this so if you guys want an excellent highlighter I highly recommend this Kylie Jenner this is in the color Santorini you could actually use this on your brow bone if you didn't want to purchase an additional highlighter and this is a loose powder and all I do you guys is use what's on the lid look at this it is so gorgeous it is shimmery. It is absolutely amazing. And it is such a strong highlighter that you literally will just pull it off of the lid and I'm going to apply it to the inside corners of my eyes. And look at that. It just brightens your eyes right up. And literally, I just pulled it right here off of my lid. Easy peasy. Now that we're done with our eyes, this completed look is very neutral. I wouldn't say nat natural because of the lashes, but if you didn't put the lashes on, this eye palette color would be extremely natural looking as well if you didn't have the artificial lashes. So I am ready to finish applying the rest of my product to my face. So for my face, I always add a bronzer and I love this benefit hula bronzer. It comes in this super cute little box. It comes actually with a brush but I always just pop the brush and the plastic out. And this is a very matte bronzer and I'm gonna apply this with an actual brush. So I just go into the box and I'm just gonna apply this all over my entire face to give me a little bit of a bronzed look. It's summer, so I need a little bit of bronzing. There you have it, a little bit of bronzer. This is really honestly, in my opinion, the best bronzer on the market. I like that it's matte, so you can add an additional highlighter like we're going to do, and it's not just too much on your face. So let's move into our highlighter for here on our cheeks. So for highlighter, I have a favorite. I've shown this in my other makeup tutorial, and that is this. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer Highlighter, and this is in rose gold. I love this. This is the most gorgeous highlighter for your face pretty much ever. And I always apply it with a fan style of brush. So I'm just going to go around with my brush, collect my highlighter, and then I'm going to apply it here to my cheeks. Just kind of up. You can see that. Isn't that gorgeous? Just kind of apply that to my cheeks and then pull it through my T-zone. Shutterstock music. Gorgeous. Absolutely love it. So the next thing that I'm going to apply to my face is it is similar to a bronzer, but it has a little bit of pink to it. It is called Hikari. I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of it right here for you guys. I can only find it on sites like his Poshmark or on the Hikari website, but I do mine a little bit different. I actually take that little palette and I break it up and I squish it all together and I use it as a mixture of the pinks and the browns and I love it for my cheeks and my cheekbones before I actually apply my blush. I take a slanted brush here and I just go into that mixture and I'm gonna pull it here on my cheek so you can see that, isn't that so pretty? And do it on the other side and then I bring it up here and just kind of all around on my face and it gives that nice little bit of pink along with the brown. Love it, I love this stuff. So next I'm going to move on to blush. So for blush, I again use a drugstore. I use the Cover Girl and this is in the color Rose Silk. It really is a gorgeous color and I'll apply that with kind of a flat brush and I'm gonna put that just here, here and on the apples of my cheeks. All right, so there we have it. Our face is absolutely positively done. So the last thing is our lips. So I have a 
system with my lips because I've just applied so much makeup to my face I always take a Kleenex and I'm gonna wipe off my lips and then of course I'm gonna wipe off my nose ring as well and then we'll apply some really neutral gorgeous lip gloss so once you've wiped off your lips we are gonna go ahead and use this Mac and this is in the color of love child I love this I don't know if this is available anymore I'm sure that you can find it on some other websites other than Mac if I can find it I will link it because I love it it is gorgeous it is pink it's shiny it's neutral so I'm just going to apply that to my lips all right so our makeup look is complete it is again very neutral it can be very natural if you don't put on the artificial lashes or maybe you just like the artificial lashes it is still a very neutral natural look so to seal the deal here we're going to be using some natural finish setting spray and again this is also from wet n wild in my opinion you don't have to spend a lot of money on priming and finishing spray the wet n wild one works excellent this is the natural finish they do also have a matte finish i will link both of them down in the description box so again give it a good shake close your eyes and spritz voila it is done so i'm going to give you guys kind of a zoom in close-up of the finished look All right, so that is my makeup tutorial for you. I hope you enjoyed seeing me put together this very neutral, can be natural look. It is definitely something you could wear every day. You can really add some additional pops of color to your shadow for night. You could add a little bit of black. You could add a little bit of the dark brown if you're going for a more nighttime elegant look. But these lashes really help, just everything all together. And I'm telling you, you guys, this is 20 minutes or less to put this look together, including the lashes. It seems longer in the video, but honestly, I am done with my makeup 15 to 20 minutes to get this all put together look. So again, I'm going to link all of the products that I used down in the description box below for you guys. I hope you enjoyed another makeup tutorial. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to continue seeing these. I can show you some different types of looks. We can do no lashes with lashes. We can do vibrant shadow colors, more of this natural neutral color. If we want a smoky eye, just let me know down in the description box your thoughts on some additional makeup tutorials. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new, this is a WW channel where we throw in a little bit of fun, like some makeup tutorials and some fun things like that. So make sure that you subscribe hit that little bell so you're notified every time that I upload a new video. I would love it if you'd give this guy a thumbs up and comment down below again. Let me know what you thought of this makeup tutorial and if you'd like to see some additional ones and give me some ideas of some looks that you guys would like to see. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.